against rats, rodents, insects. And that's the reason why they adopted it as a deity. So in this town, to recognize the worshippers of the fighters, they have scars on their faces. That's how they are recognized. That's how they do the scars. They do two scars on their fronts and two on each temples and two on each cheeks. But why do they do the scars? It's because the pythons, they have holes around their jaws, five at the right side and five at the left side. So that's why they do the scars, two on their fronts, two on each temples and two on each cheeks. When you count them all, uh, it makes 10. So yeah, this is an Iroko tree and it has more than 400 years. On market days, they do offerings to it because it is a sacred tree. Dead or alive, it stays sacred here. So no one cuts Iroko tree here. It is cut, but it has been cut off by the wind. By who? Wind, by wind, 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 wind. So that's why they crowned it to protect it. So when uh, they also have feasts or ceremonies, they kill goat or sheep and pray for their ancestors. So in this temple, we have two species of python. The male is called Dangbekpong. The male is called Dangbekpong. It means that it is short, but the female is called Dangbekdre. The female is longer than the male. That's the difference between them. And here, the royal pythons, the maximum length is 1.5 for, uh, for the females, and the males are 1.30, 1.35. It is. All right, can we continue? Yes, let's proceed. Do you have any question? No, let's go. Can we move on? Okay, let's go. So here, this is the most sacred place of the temple. Come here. You can stand here. So today, you can see the shrine inside because it's market day. Can you see it? Yes, we can. So it's a market day, that's why the door is open. If not, it will be closed. The inside is the shrine of the deity. But here, no one gets in if they are not initiated. First of all, you have to be initiated first before getting in. And the century is between 1717. It has more than 300 years. But in 1992, they put the pillars around it and changed the roof also to strengthen the building. So, how do you get initiated? Yeah, the initiation process. You have to meet the priest. Okay, the, 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 yeah, okay. I'm not initiated. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you, as you are now, can you enter there? No, I'm not initiated. I think they, okay, only initiated, initiated people. All right, let's proceed. So here, but in, they initiated. They never get in with their shoes or hats on their heads. And women in initial period also don't have access to it. Okay. So, Sorry, what if you enter there without being initiated? What happens? Yeah, yes, sir. It's, there, it's a limit. So, initiated press, if you are not initiated, you can't get in. Okay. So, so who are these people? Yes, I was explaining to you. Ah, okay. So, behind you is the room of purification. This is where they purify themselves. Or for someone who mistakenly. Hello? For someone who mistakenly gets in the sanctuary uh, with shoes or hearts, or someone who mistakenly kills the pythons, okay. they have to purify themselves because it is not good because the pythons, they are sacred. So you have to purify yourself here. This is where they purify themselves. Okay. You can see that the, the room, it has small size, the compartment, it has small size because before getting in, you have to know the sign of respect and humility. Okay. But the second one is for protection. And only the priest of the temple has access to it. It has two doors. The entrance who is here and the exit is behind. Okay. Now let me ask, are these people still in existence? The people who do these things, are they still existing today? Oh. Wow. So here this is a sacred jar. And the this, the name of this jar is Zengme. 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 That's how okay. it's written. Zengme, okay. Zengme. And the jar has more than, four, more than 200 years. It's made in clay, but they put cement around it to protect it in case the sun and the rain. Mm -hmm. So every seven years also, they have ceremonies here that occur. 
And when I, during the ceremony, they turn the jar up. Actually, now it's upside down. So they turn it up and it is dropped at the entrance of the temple. So here we have priests and the priestess. So at that time, the priestess is going to choose 41 virgin girls who's going to fetch water from the river. So when they'll be back, they'll pour it in a jar and it will be mixed with some sacred leaves. And they'll use it to do the purification. But nowadays, the virgin girls are replaced by postmenopausal women. That's the drawing on the wall. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Can yeah, we continue? Yeah, yeah, we can. But um, since you people have all these powers too, do you people still do like healing? Because this is spiritual, right? Yeah. Uh, do they still do like healing where they cure people of different ailments? In this is like here now, spiritual people, eh? yeah. they can cure different sicknesses. Do they still do that in this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So well, even the leaves that they bring to, uh -huh. to mix with the water is just uh, the leaves of uh, healings. Ah, okay. okay. Can we continue? Thank you. So here, this is the living room of the pythons. And inside, we have like a 40 to 50 pythons like that. Many of the anifores in people's houses, they are not all the pythons that we have. But those who are kept there, we don't feed them. No one feeds them here. We let them out and they go and hunt rats, rodents, insects. So when we let them out, they are brought by the dwellers. So when they see them in the houses, they bring them back here. Because everyone in the towns know that they are sacred. So no one does nothing to them. Okay. Do, um... <laughs> That's okay. a question. Can you feed them? We don't feed them here. I told you. We let them out and they go and hunt themselves. Okay, but it's no big python that can swallow. Do they attack people here? The, the, the real python, they don't have venom. They, they don't have venom. They don't bite. They are harmless, calm enough. Oh. They don't have venom. It's natural, so you don't have to be scared. I have one question. Yeah. How can you make sure that nothing happens? To you? Then what you said, like all the community knows they are sacred. Sec but what about maybe accident with a car? Has something like this ever happened? Like yes, it happens. When we open the door, when we let them out, they, sometimes you know, they can be mistakenly stepped by motorbikes. So in those cases, we take them and they are buried there. That's their cemetery. So let's just, if the, the person that killed them, if he, the person will recognize that uh, what, he, what, what he has done is not good, he will come here and get himself purified here. But if you don't know and you you left, uh, let's say they'll take the python and bury it, and after that they'll do the purification for you, even if you are not here. Okay. But if you know and do it, I mean, if you know that they are sacred, then it's not good to kill yeah. the python and you and you did it, so you just you just be ready to face the consequences. Okay. So, so I'll bring one python out, and but before touching, you go to wash your hands first. It's just some normal water, and we put isop leaf inside. You know isop? What about the one we wash? Isop, isop. Like I said, that's the leaf. Uh, that leaf, isop. It's a kind of leaf, so you just have to purify it. So we just put it in the water. That's all. But we have washed. It's just to purify your hands because the pythons they are sacred. So we okay. don't know how you came here, okay. you know, how you spent your last night. Also, mm -hmm. we just have. So this is uh, one of the least. Just wash your hands. You don't have to wait just a minute. Wow. It's just like that. Don't be scared. Um, so like uh, an adult, 
Non, 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 non,